Hello everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley here on the Game Professor channel. I am your host, The Game Professor, and today is a special little episode that I'm going to do because I got impatient and I decided to get Stardew for my computer so that I could check out this new update that just dropped yesterday. So, um, yeah, I'm impatient, I really wanted to check it out, and I did start my own little personal farm to mess with it just on my own last night, um, but what we are gonna do, first I'm just gonna enjoy all of the little Easter eggs that there are out here, and this is apparently the new one. Hitting this corner gets you this new little cursor, I like that a lot. But, to start off, I just want to show us the new game options that we have. Alright, I'm not going to sneeze, I guess. Um, but, this is the big one for me. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Um, so, we have um, the Community Center Bundles. The normal version, which is the way they always are. Then remixed, which according to Concern to 8, is a randomized mix of new and old bundles as well with some variations within. So I've actually selected this for my personal playthrough. Um, and that is a lot of fun there. We have the guaranteed year one completable for the community center, which is awesome if you're trying to do a uh, a community center or one community center one year completion very cool the mine rewards that is different um rewards that you get for those reward levels in the mines so where we would get the uh the leather boots the tundra boots the obsidian edge all that those are changed i also selected that just because i was really curious um I did not select to spawn monsters on the farm because I am doing the new farm layout in this playthrough and I didn't want to mess with that, but that is something that can be changed at any time once you unlock the Witch's Swamp, which we haven't even gotten close to in our regular playthrough, so we'll get there. Um, then Profit Margin. This introduces one of the multiplayer elements into the single player, which I think is great. Um, as you can tell... <laughs> from the way that I play, I'm very profit-oriented, so uh, I did lower my profit margin. I did 75 for this playthrough that I've started myself, uh, just out of curiosity, see how much more difficult it gets. Um, one thing that I have found for myself is that once I get the community, I really go for the community center and really go for getting my farm finished as and functional as quickly as possible, and really try to rake in the money so i'm hoping that this might slow me down a little bit and i was very curious about that then we have our multiplayer options uh none one two three cabin layout separate or nearby all that i've not done multiplayer i probably still won't do multiplayer but that is um that's just me i'm i'm a very single player oriented sort of player and then random seed i um uh, the seed used to randomize the game world so i guess that a, a seed will randomize events in the world so very cool i like that a lot and then obviously the big update here as well is the beach farm good foraging and fishing and tons of open space sometimes supply crates wash up on shore however sprinklers don't work on the sandy soil this is going to be a challenge for me um because obviously we've already seen how reliant i am on sprinklers but you've also seen how much I, how, how used to i to i am the prospect of getting started a little too quickly so, and having to water a lot and using up a lot of energy because of that. But, um, with that, uh, there are no more new pets. Uh, everything's still the same there. There are different ha hairstyles and stuff. I couldn't identify which ones they are, but still very cool. But 
for now, what we're gonna do, we are gonna go into the game that I started yesterday, and I'm just gonna show you some stuff. So, um, port farm, uh, this, uh, could be a, a play on the fact that I'm ironically not playing on a port of the game, uh, or the real reason I selected that name is because I am on a beach and I'm like, oh, it's like I'm at port, uh, by the ocean, so I thought I'd have a little fun with that. So, here's our cute little house. I really love the wallpaper. Uh, we can pick up everything. We can move the bed, which is great. I look forward to that when we have more space. Because I've always not liked how far away the bed is. Not always liked precisely how it's positioned. All that stuff. Oh, we can... Uh, whoops. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, there we go. We can sit. That was really a really big deal for a lot of people. <laughs> so uh, I am having to get used to the right versus left click thing in this version um, compared to my trusty buttons on my controller, but it's all good. So it's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Goodness gracious. There we are. Uh, and... We have very happy spirits today, so that'll be great. And live it off the land. This one, we've already seen all these things. Um, but nothing new. We have our parsnips here, and you can really see the sandy soil here. It really just looks just like the beach does. Um, ooh, got a prehistoric rib already. Sweet. That's exciting. You found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about this. Yes, very exciting. I will put you right away, just so I don't forget about it, you. But, oh, uh, before I forget, this boat that we... This boat... Uh, image uh, that we got here, this is actually something that I caught... Uh, at a little fishing spot here on the farm. So I will be showing that off. I believe that that was one of those supply chests that washes up because it uh, looked like a little present um, when I fished it up. So very cool. I That's my theory on it, at least. So we'll find out. Um, but for now, first things first, got to water the plants. And I'm going to take full advantage of the fact that I can stand in a spot and just water all of the plants around me rather than having to go in a line like I have to do on console. <laughs> um, there are some ways that the, the ports of this game are imperfect, but I still love it. It's still just such a wonderful game. But let us go around the farm a little bit. I'm going to show you everything we have. Actually, you know what? Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Um, I will take advantage of the fact that I can zoom out really easily. Um, where is my zoom? I can zoom out more. I can show you a bit more of the farm while we're walking around. Um, so, you can see that we have this huge area of sandy soil. That really looks just like the beach, and still has all of the various, whoops, uh, wood and stumps. We really have a lot of the big stumps, which is very exciting for me. I really like that. Um, and of course, I don't have any of my other tools other than my hoe with me. I can at least get some of these seeds that I'm seeing, so I might as well take advantage of that. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be interesting to continue to look at this. Um, oops. But down here, this is the one area of, uh, regular soil that we have. And I really like this. I could see this either being a natural place for either one of my more uh, sprinkler-reliant crops, such as 
my uh, my hops or something like that. Or this would be a really natural place to make an orchard. Like maybe have this be where my my oak resin, pine tar, and um, maple syrup supply is. But you can see down here, lots of stuff, lots of wood. It's really, really quite impressive how much they have on this little farm area. I, I, I truly could not be more impressed with this little farm area ape created. But um, here, this is the little fishing area that I managed to fish this up. Let me just see if I can do a quick little bit of fishing just to show it off. And of course, starting off with trash. Um, I was very surprised there. I wasn't getting a lot of trash overall while I was fishing here, which is very different from the other farms, including the, the uh, Riverland farm, if I remember correctly. I did do one little playthrough where I was messing with that a little bit, and I didn't do anything with it ultimately because I honestly wasn't really enjoying myself with it. Um, but here... It seems like the fish really bite. And you can see we got a herring, and that is the case. We are getting the um, the ocean fish here. So I got a lot of sardines, anchovies, herrings, all that stuff. But that might that area there might be where the um, where the supply crates that's the word supply crates uh end up washing up and those little present the present that i caught would possibly be at we also have another little spot to fish here that's very natural nice little pier so very cool i, I really really do like this and other than that this, at this stage in the game, everything's still very the same. I am going to show you guys whoops, the um, uh, the rest of the farm quickly, the upper left corner, just so that you can see where Grandpa's Shrine and the, uh, the greenhouse are. Um, and it really... It, it feels like a very natural positioning for everything. Here's our cave, and we're able to cross using those rocks there. So here's the greenhouse. Um, don't think I've ever actually shown what it says when you click on it. If it'll let me. Whatever this was once was, it's now in ruins. Yes, it is. Um, and here's Grandpa's Shrine. Natural little spot for it. Cole, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. So, very, very cool. But what I think I'm going to do now then, um, since I've shown you this little bit here, I'm actually then going to jump us forward until when I show you what the new bundles are, because I don't... Oh. Let me, I think it's the fifth that the bundles first appear, but let me just double check. Maybe I'm misremembering. It might be the fourth. Well, it's either the fifth or it's too late in the day. Because <laughs> that is something I tend to do. But yeah, so next time I see you all, I am going to be showing you what the first bundle is in this remixed bundles just out of curiosity so i'll be back in a sec guys all right guys so i just unlocked the scroll itself within the community center so we are just going to work our way up to the community center and hopefully there will be a bit of a difference I don't know for sure that there will be for this first bundle, but if there is, very, very interesting to consider. Ooh, horseradish. I'm still habitually collecting all of the forage the way that I usually do, so 
Um, that's where I'm. I'm wondering if the it's just if the categories are going to be different, or if it's just going to be the items that are different, or what. I don't know how the changes will be enacted. So I'm. I'm very curious. And just for myself, oop, almost Lewis's birthday. Might actually take part in that. A parsnip. Um, I'm pretty sure I sold all my parsnips, so <laughs> whoopsie. That's what I do. But let's see here. We are back at the community center. The scroll is unlocked. Let's see what we have. So, crafts room. Winter forage, spring. Wild medicine. Okay. Sticky. Okay, so it looks like the foraging bundles are all the same. Yeah. I figured as much. It would make sense to have all the foraging be the same. Honestly, I, I think it would be... Oh, this is a little different, though. The, we don't have the um, the snow yam. Okay, that looks the same. That looks the same. What's in the wild medicine? Okay, five purple mushrooms, five fiddlehead ferns, five white algae, and five hops. Oh man. Okay, and the sticky bundle. 500 sap wow okay well i'm just i'm just curious now oh and a spring onion in this one instead of the um wild horseradish okay well you know what i i literally know that i have all of that so yeah i'm just gonna go and get that spring forge turned in so that i can get something else unlocked because i just want to see what everything is wow that is so cool i love that now i'm gonna want to do another farm to see if there are other randomized bundles that can be in there because that randomized was the verbiage that concerned ape used in his tweet so that makes me think that there is a random element to the way the bundles are remixed so i'm oh man i'm curious this is this is gonna really change the approach to the game i really like this oh man do i like this this is great okay so i have the leak i have the daffodil i don't need the horseradish um but there we go and pop those in there i'm don't have anywhere close to enough sap for the sticky bundle um but oh man that really is fascinating oh i love this this is so cool this really completely changes the way you think about the bundles i love this this is really fabulous there we go okay spring foraging spring onion dandelion leek and daffodil all right so i'm assuming this will go to the and still we get our spring seeds okay the i would expect the rewards to remain si uh similar or the same so that doesn't really surprise me okay and then still going to give us the pantry and i'm guessing the fish tank Okay, so the order does not change. All right, good to know. Make sure that I am actually still on the WASDA. All right, pantry. So spring crops is still the same. Rare crops. Oh! Oh, I love that. That's great. Either an ancient fruit or a sweet gem berry. That's fabulous. Okay. Um, summer crops remains the same. Oh, brewer's bun. Oh, man. Oh, this one is calling to me. This one is calling to me. Oh, mead, wine, juice, pale ale, or green tea. Four of those. Oh, that's fabulous. 
All crops remains the same. And the animal bundle remains the same. All right. Oh, man. This is fantastic. Oh, I love this. Oh. Oh, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. And I keep moving my hand over just slightly because I am so honed into typing. Okay, so Riverfish. Uh, that looks the same. Night Fishing looks the same. Lake Fish is the same. Ocean Fish is the same. Crab Pot is the same. And Specialty Fish is the same. Okay, so the, the fishing does not change from the look of it, which... Uh, or at least in this randomized version that I'm doing it it didn't change that's the thing when randomized is the word used I you never know for sure what degree of randomization it is it's a little bit um it, it's similar to when you're thinking about random number generation it's like are there going are things going to be weighted in a certain way to make them more likely to happen one way or the other all that stuff. Oh, now... Did I make spring seeds yet? The wild seeds? Okay, so then the wild seeds still remains the same, even though for the bundle we... that Where we got the wild seeds, the, um... The items we had to turn in were different. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm really, really intrigued by this, guys. This really, really is cool. I like this a lot. But with that, guys, I am actually going to finish this off because that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. Just uh, give you an idea of what the new beach farm looks like. Talk a little bit about things that I've noticed on it specifically. And then take a look at what these randomized bundles are look like so thank you as always for watching we will be continuing our main playthrough of this with my console version that is still going to be the main playthrough uh if you want to see more stuff on this farm though let me know i can provide updates when i get new bundles unlocked and stuff like that if anyone wants that but thank you as always for watching everybody be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when i have new videos coming out and follow the links in the description to the facebook page and discord server to join the conversation and to my patreon if you are so inclined to support me monetarily the conversation is the most important part but any and all support that you're able to provide are always appreciated so until next time, everybody, this is your Game Professor signing off. I'll see you then.